Hello, here is the first video showing why the bar corollas charts are wrong. Here is the same chart for the 18th of March 2011, the same one that the bar corolla is using on his YouTube video. In his chart he has drawn a straight line between Neptune, Venus and Saturn and shown these three planets in a direct planetary alignment. Now the problem that we have is that this chart is not drawn to scale. Most people know that the orbits of the planets are not evenly spaced as shown here. If I show the Sun to scale, well you can see the problem can't you? If we drew the chart to scale it would be just too big. So I'll turn the Sun off again. Instead let's draw the orbits to scale. Before I do that, just take another look at this alignment between Neptune, Venus and Saturn and watch it as I turn the orbits to scale button on. OK, what's happened to Venus? It's disappeared. Here's our line between Neptune and Saturn and Venus is nowhere to be seen. Let me zoom in. OK, now here's Venus, it's this pink one here. You see the problem? Let me zoom in a little bit further. Here's the Sun, here's the orbit of Mercury, here's Venus and here's the Earth. So Venus is actually on the inside orbit from the Earth. It's between the Sun and the Earth in its orbit. Then there's Mars, then there's Jupiter. Let me zoom out. If we draw a line between Neptune and Saturn, you'll see that that line actually takes us on the outside of the orbit of Jupiter. Now watch the orbit of Jupiter as I zoom in. So Venus is on the inside of the orbit of Jupiter, it's on the inside of the orbit of Mars, it's on the inside of the orbit of the Earth. So if this chart is drawn to scale, we're talking about, talking about an error of hundreds of millions of miles. Let me turn the scaling off. Here's a line between Neptune, Venus and Saturn. When we draw it to scale, then Venus is nowhere near the alignment. I hope this has clarified this for you. Thank you.